The World Menders is a science fiction novel written by Lloyd Biggle Jr. and published in 1971 by Doubleday. In the story Biggle explores the old aphorism about the road to hell being paved with good intentions and he garnered for himself a nomination for a Locus Best Novel Award. Plot <inaudible> 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 Said Ferrari and 29 other members of his class at the Cultural Survey Academy are transferred, two years before their graduation, to the Interplanetary Relations Bureau. They are then taken to inhabited planets outside the Federation of Independent Worlds and left with the IPR teams already there. Ferrari joins the IPR team on Branoff IV, where he uses his training to organize the data that the explorers and observers bring in pertaining to the native Branovians. While examining a picture of a tapestry recently hung in the city of Skorv, capital of the medieval-like kingdom of Skorvith, Ferrari discerns that the crew, the god-emperor of Skorvith, has died. Enthusiastically, the other occupants of the base prepare to observe the drama of succession in the opaque native society, the first that they have ever observed. Because he made the discovery, Ferrari must go to Skorvith to be interviewed by field agents. Going in native disguise, he ends up working in a bakery in Skorv, one surreptitiously owned and operated by the IPR. The bakery gets an order to provide a special cake for the new crew and Ferrari is drafted to play the role of the apprentice who carries the cake while the baker presents it. Through a comedy of errors Ferrari ends up presenting the cake himself and committing an act that makes him a legend in Skorv, an omen from the gods, who have apparently granted the crew a long reign and eternal glory. Farari's later disappearance from the temple only cements his role in native folklore. After escaping from the temple, Ferrari returns to the bakery and thence to the IPR base to be debriefed. On his next field assignment Ferrari must accompany Liano Kern as her servant. Clairvoyant, she goes into the field as a shaman and has chosen Ferrari to go with her. As the slave of a shaman, Ferrari can observe the slave communities that Liano visits and he tries to discern the slave's culture. Then Ferrari makes a mistake that gets him sent back to base and Liano gets a new slave. Some time later Liano disappears. Ferrari himself, still disguised as a slave, contrives to disappear and goes to live among the slaves. One night he meets a slave who turns out to be an IPR agent who calls himself Bran, an agent who disappeared years ago and was given up for dead. Working together, Bran and Ferrari try to find ways to free the slaves, but nothing they do will get the slaves to stand up for themselves. The two Terrans conclude that the slaves adhere to a death cult and that they worship the people who abuse them. While attacking a unit of the crew's cavalry, Bran is killed and Ferrari wounded. Taken to a cave to be buried like any other slave, Ferrari is rescued by Liano, who disappears again. At loose ends and not wanting to return to base, Ferrari manipulates the slaves into forming something resembling an army on the march. The slave drivers and their families flee in panic and even the crew's cavalry won't attack the slaves. But the slaves absolutely won't fight, so Ferrari is at a loss as to what to do next. He decides to exploit the panic that he has sown by taking a loaf of bread to the crew. In the temple the crew and the priests are flabbergasted when they recognize him and even more astounded when he challenges the crew to ensure better treatment for the slaves. After leaving Skorv he sees a slave driver disperse his army with a single word and he believes that his work is done. Back at base Ferrari soon discovers the mistake he made in believing that he could bring freedom to the slaves. He had already noticed that the slaves had no culture. Now he understands that the slaves are actually little more than animals, comparable, perhaps, to Australopithecus or Homo erectus on the human lineage. This is the first time that IPR has encountered a sub-human species on the verge of achieving sentience, so the scientists at the base and in the field intend to study the slaves intensely. Ferrari and Liano go back into the field themselves, intending to try, ever so gently, to get the slaves to develop a simple culture. <laughs> Publication history 1971, USA, Doubleday, Hardback 181 pp. 1971, USA, Condé Nast Publications, Inc., Analog Science Fiction, Science Fact, February, Ma, April 1971, Digest, 180 pp. 
1972 USA, Door Books Hash UQ1015, Pub Date July 1972, Paperback 192 pp. 1972 Canada, Door Books Hash UQ1015, Pub Date July 1972, Paperback 192 pp. 1972 Italy, Editrice Nord Cosmo Colana de Fantascienza No. 21, Hardback 200 pp, as GLIOLZ di Branoff IV The OLZ of Branoff IV 1973 UK, The Elmfield Press Morley, Yorkshire, England, No. 0 7057 Hardback 205 pp 1974 Germany, Pabell Verlag Terra Taschenbuch No. 233, paperback 140 pp, as Die Weltverbessere The Do-Gooders 1974, France, Opta Galaxy Bis No. 34, pub date July 1974, paperback 250 pp, as Les Réparateurs de Mons The Repairers of Worlds 1975 Netherlands, Moulinhof MSF No. 93, ISBN 90-290-0300-6, paperback 231 pp, as Vorwart Slaven. Forward, Slaves. Reviews The book was reviewed by Michael T. Shoemaker at the WSFA Journal No. 77 June to July 1971 Theodore Sturgeon at Galaxy Science Fiction UK, January to February 1973 Theodore Sturgeon at Galaxy Magazine January to February 1973 <laughs> Awards and nominations The World Menders came in at 11th place for Best Science Fiction Novel in the 1972 Locus Awards. Topic: Footnotes. Topic: Further reading. Clute, John. Biggle, Lloyd Jr. In David Langford, Peter Nichols and Graham Slight Ed's, Encyclopedia of Science Fiction. London, Gollinch, 2015.